Shit talker back. I'm going to start here. Going to start here. At the Willie Lynch letter. See that blue eyed devil looking at me? He is D. N. Fame. Must. You, you name it. Snakes. Willie. Illuminati Lynch Letter Hmm I had this I was teaching it to my children Um It said how to make a slave Forever But here, here it says The making Of a slave But the one I had is said how to make a slave forever doesn't matter uh, it's the making of the slave and then you make the slave and then you keep the slave forever right okay both of them will be correct now here yeah, he goes into you know I, I really don't want to read it because I know so many of us already know this oh but there may be some that don't Anyway, it says, I do not need to elaborate. I am not here to enumerate your problems. I am here to introduce you to a method of solving them. In my bag here, hmm, you see that? He said, in my bag here, whoa, wait till I tell my daughter this nigga even has a bag. Wow. Bet he has a bag of tricks in that motherfucker. I have a foolproof method for controlling your black sleeves. I guarantee every one of you that if installed, if installed, you see the word? Installed correctly, it will control the sleeves for at least 300 years. For at least 300 years. But the one I said is how to make a slave forever. However, somewhere up here, install. So you have to install something correctly. Mm. You know, you can install shit into your machine. You know that, right? Yeah. It will control the slaves. Now, I want to talk, say something about this. See, if Willie Lynch wrote this, this word would not be there. Uh, we were not called Negro, we were not called Black until the 1960s. That's when we were called Black. You must understand Alistair Crowley, Timothy Leary. Timothy Leary was into music and everything, and so was James Brown. James Brown bought us the Black shit. But you know what? They still never gave us a nationality. We're not Anunnaki. We're not Moors. We're not Hebrews. We not are not. Uh, what is it now? They always can't say that word. Shit, I think we was there before we were even Hebrews. Nuwabu. Yeah, Nuwabu. You know, we are nothing in, in here. We are either black or we are slaves. And then now they want to replace the word Negro with black. Because we were Negro slaves. But even before we were Negro slaves, who were we? We were something before then. But now they have a method for controlling us. And the word controlling is the word con. Also troll. You know they can't make you... You know, some people, you know, whatever they call trolling. I call trolling when they are in your mind and then they are having these stupid thoughts for you. You know what I'm saying? I call that trolling. They're trolling your mind and cunning you. You see what I'm saying? Now, here's control again. Now, you say you can do this for at least 300 years. My method is simple. Any member of your family... See, I have to read without this here phone. I can't read through the phone, okay? 
Any member of your family or your overseer can use it. I have outlined the number of differences among the slaves. See? This nigga, see, you see what I'm saying? They be so smart. I think they spend all their fucking time outlining other people's shit. So no, they have outlined a number of differences among the slaves. So that nigga, he sat there and he watched this one and he watched that one. And you see what I'm saying? Something is wrong with the brain says that they always inside someone else's and never inside their own. Because inside their own is nothing but fucking darkness. And there's the word fear. That's all that's inside their head. That's why they need to control the melanated man. Then just call us slaves. You know, like we the one come out the caves. You see? A V E S. You see? Yeah, put a C in front of that shit. Caves. I right, take the C from here. Move that SL back and put that there. Caves. I use the SL for sliver and fucking snakes and shit. Because that's what they are. And it's like no one sees them but me. Something is fucking going on here. Like the man said, he, he came up with. A simulated world or universe and then he tied it at the bottom he tied it at the neck you know what I'm saying and what they do to a slave they will tie your ass up at the neck damn man I, I, I mean I'm going through so much it's been a long time since I've been back I don't even know if I said shit talk a black or not because they've been back they haven't been gone so long so many things has happened and well, well, I'm going to, I want to kind of get into how they have turned me into one of the slaves, you see? And also, where I live, it's like I live in a cave. You know, there's no sunlight, see? I'm not going to open it. But if I open it, then there's a big building over there. It is supposed to be an office building, Catholic. And that motherfucker always got windows open. So I don't open mine. The sun doesn't shine that much anyway. Because that big ass building. You see? So it is like a cave. Even the way it's made up. And when you open the door and go out in the hallway. Oh my goodness gracious. When my daughter and my grandbabies come over. And my son-in-law. When I go to the door. They, have, they always have their hands over their nose. And I told them, I think I need to invest in me uh, one of those things that go over your mouth. You know, like when they come to with some kind of bombs, you know, smoke bombs or something, you know, you have the thing over your nose. You know, because I think this place is killing me. Because they have a, a sign out there. And my, I didn't see it, but my grandbaby did. But I have seen it in a lot of places, especially on government buildings, where it says... um. You know, this building may cause cancer or some something like that, you know. Uh, they're allowed to do that. And I think what they're using is tiny sheet rock. And uh, it will be a virus. She will have that information. She knows about the tiny sheet rock and how it makes you sick. But you can read it too. I mean, I, once she told me, I researched it to find it out on my own. So, how did he make me this leave? Remember he said he had a method and that they um, installed it? And, uh, you know, you can install things into, pro you know, programs you can install them, right? So, now it says, um, so this nigga, he said uh, to find out differences wherever I was. Okay. And I take these differences and make them bigger. Hmm. I have outlined the number of differences among the slaves. And I take these differences and make them bigger. I use fear, see, distress, and envy, and envy for control purposes. Wow. So they have us to envy each other and mind control purposes. Sometimes they even have us fear each other. And we are just so distrustful of each other. All of this is a program. And I'm going to get into that and show you what I'm talking about. Okay? These methods have worked on my modest plantation. On he, now he has a modest plantation. 
he owns slaves, but his plantation is modest. See, this is where they kind of fuck me up with their words because I thought modest was something good, you know. But to them, modest is to, I guess, have a plantation in the West Indies. In the West Indies. Well, hmm. So we want to control that. That's where they were doing a lot of the. You know, mulatto shit. And then they placed a pink man over the mulattoes. And then the mulattoes, would, he would choose which mulatto would go into this fold or would it go into that fold. But he really was looking for those that he can put back into their fold so that they can um, uh, breathe some more, you know, for more cent for more decades, you know. Because they can only live like four to five. Uh, decades in one dec in one decade is fifty one point four years fifty one point four fifty one years and four months which is fifty one point four fifty one years and four months so once um they say one of them is born and then they get to be fifty one years old and four months okay uh if he has grandchildren. He's 51 years old and four months. Then that grandchild will um, be the next generation. So the grandchild will also have to go to be 51.4. And then uh, more so it will be in that grandchildren. And then, you know, there will be a third generation coming in the grandchild. You know, like that. I hope I can explain it. As I tell, as I say, I'm not a speaker. I'm a thinker. But it stinks so much, sometimes I have to get some of this shit out, so. It says, these methods have worked on my mother's plantation in the West Indies, and it will work throughout the South. Hmm. Hmm. S take this simple little list of differences and think about them. On top of my list is eight. But it's not there only because it starts with an A. See? See? See, because they know what the letter A means. That's why he says, but it's not there only because it starts with an A, because A means the first in a series. The sound is color or shade. No, that's the sound. Oh, the second. <laughs> the second is color or shade. There is intelligence, size, sex, sizes of plantation statues, United States on plantations attitude of owners whether the slave live in the valley on a hill east west north or south have fine hair coarse hair or is tall short whatever 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 no all this here is just to let tell them how to um put us to be different from each other and where the tall one will hate or not like or distrust or even feel the dark one and the uh the fat one, the skinny one, will always talk about the fat one. But you know, they, they that people, that people are in the same mental condition, also. See, their people are like that too. So it's not just the melanated man that they have made a slave. You know. Then he said, "Let's make a slave." So I, I don't want to read all this. You can go read it, but it, what I'm talking about is going to come from here. Okay. Um. This is what I need. They have broken me, you know. When they came to take my children, you know, I I was taught the sovereign law, you know. I didn't even know there was a black law dictionary, you know. I just knew uh, I was sovereign and I knew the law of being sovereign and I had my own culture, you know. And I was from the nation of Yahweh. Now I found out that uh, man gets to say in whose nation is real and not, you know. And um, they said, that, I don't know if it was the UN or not, but maybe I'll get that information. But the brother was telling me that the reason when I went into court with my children, that uh, it did not go as far as anything uh, being of the nation of Yahweh, because the nation of Yahweh is not seen as a nation. You know, there's a group of nation, I guess a group of men, that decide if you are a nation or not. You see? So now, since 
I'm from the nation of Yahweh, and uh, the nation of Yahweh is not recognized as a nation. I'm not a citizen of, of the nation of Yahweh. There are no citizens of the nation of Yahweh. We belong to the nation of Yahweh. You don't. You're not a citizen when you belong to something. But see, America, she keeps trying to make me the citizen. Is do I belong to fucking them? And they do not. No. So since these people did not decide that the nation of Yahweh was real, so I guess we were just fucking illusion. So now they get to hold me as they sleep. I did not know that. And when I went in, see, they say dangerous, you damn real motherfucker. There's the word it and family and whatever. So, and so now uh, I go into the courtroom, right? And, and and I'm speaking to them because I'm sorry and I don't need a lawyer. And it's even against the law for them to even give me a lawyer. And then this thing, I know they rush everybody out of the room. No one can hear what I'm saying. Because I'm speaking to them sovereign law. And I told them too, you know, I was so tired of it. I, I, at, first I, at first I resisted them and then I, man, I did they just, wow, they fucking my ass are wrong. It's so much to that, to get to the part where I just decide, okay, let me, okay, I'll sign the papers, just give me my children back, you know what I'm saying? Well, not knowing when I signed those papers, what was I? <sighs> I was fucking up. I was only fucking up because of their law, not the sovereign law, you know? So... After a while, okay, I got tired of them, and they even said, that. okay, now I'm getting tired of your kangaroo court now. I demanded they give me my children back. You know, they took everyone out. Once they took everyone out, I demanded they give me my children back. Next thing I know, here they come with all these motherfucking sheriffs, and they all have guns. So now it's just me against all them. So they just told me to sit my, sit down, so I do. I, I sit down, but I have pencil and paper, and I just read on the paper, and I say, How about, about to, they are crucifying me. That's what I said. I said, They are crucifying me. So I'm, they gave me a lawyer, which is so well. Her name is Rico, right? You know, they got my album, the Rico shit. See, I knew it. I already knew some game was being played with that. I'm not stupid. And just slow to your fucking laws because where I come from, we don't. Well, anyways. So, no, I tell them I'm sovereign. You know, I, and they sit down and I, I want to speak to my lawyer to, to my lawyer to say these things. Or to, I really told my lawyer to let them allow me to speak. You know, and I'll sit down and I'll, and I'll speak mental you know, and but I do need to speak for myself. So the lawyer, she did that, and I told them, I said, you know, I'm a sovereign being. Um, my children are sovereign. I'm not black. I'm not African American. I am a Hebrew Israelite. I did not know to say I was a more. I did not know about that at the time. But I didn't know I was sovereign, and I didn't know they cannot come in and take my children. If they read the Constitution, they will see that my children are considered my property. I mean, I read the Constitution left and right. Even before this happened, I read the Constitution. You can ask my last husband, Dimmon Walker. He used to say, I never knew anyone who read the Constitution like you do. I say, because I am confused. Because when I read the Constitution, yeah, I see, you know, the things going on in the United States, things going on in Rome. Because I really, I've never been, I anyway, mean, okay, I was not part of the United States. You know what I'm saying? I was the part of the nation of Yahweh. I belong to the nation of Yahweh. I'm part of the nation of Yahweh. And, um, they don't live around the Hebrews, you know, because they took my rabbi and they broke us all up, you know, and shit like that. So now it's like I live in the wilderness, like that. And, um, okay, so they break me down with all this shit, so much shit they did to me, you'd be surprised. They break me down with all this shit, and you know, I'm a girl, you know, I cannot find that one motherfucking brother. Not one brother that's... Oh, I'm like, what the fuck planet did I let my dumb ass on? I swear, 
It's the most ridiculous planet I've ever visited in my life. I never ever ever in my life, and of course never in my life I want to come back here, but I don't want to die and come back I just don't. So now they take me to war, the Brigham and Road, they take my children, right? Then California gave me my children back. Now I have the same problem with these motherfuckers called the Pink Triangle motherfucking boys. 20 minutes in, shit talker, there you go.